Hello, I'm Bishop Paul of the Reformed All Catholic Church, Diocese of South Australia. Today is Saturday of the first week in ordinary time, and I'd like to begin today's readings from the Mass with the Collect. Attend to the pleas of your people with heavenly care, O Lord, we pray, that they may see what must be done, and gain strength to do what they have seen. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Today's Gospel is taken from the Gospel according to St. Mark. Jesus went out to the shore of the lake, and all the people came to him, and, to, and he taught them. He was walking on the, uh, as he was walking, and he saw Levi, son of Alphaeus, sitting by the custom house. And he said to him, Follow me. And he got up and followed him. When Jesus was at dinner in his house, a number of tax collectors and sinners were also sitting at the table with Jesus and his disciples, for there were many of them among his followers. When the scribes of the Pharisees party saw him eating with sinners and tax collectors, they said to his disciples, Why does he eat with tax collectors and sinners? When Jesus heard this, he said to them, it is not the healthy who need the doctor, but the sick. I do not come to call the virtuous, but sinners. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. This scripture from the Gospel of Mark, especially the last few lines, is a good one to remember before we start judging people. People we think are not fit to come to church. I sometimes look at church, in particular the Mass, as a hospital. There are many of us out there, every one of us, have had a, a difficult life in some way or, or another, and we've fallen. We have fallen short. But Jesus is always there to forgive. And of course, if I've ever been approached by people saying, well, this is not a very nice person, or that person's not very nice, and I say to them, who am I to judge? Who am I to judge this person? There's only one judge, and that's God. He called all these people, these tax collectors and sinners. They followed him. He embraced them. He loved them. How can I do otherwise than that when people come to me? But it was saying, if it's good enough for Jesus, it's good enough for me. Yes. When you get people like the scribes of the Pharisee party coming up and judging and bringing up the law, condemning these people. If you remember the lady that was caught in adultery and they wanted to stone him, and Jesus said to them, he who is without sin, let him cast that first stone. And as we know, this did not happen. They all walked away with their heads down. Because we are all sinners. We come to church because of that fact. Not to be hypocrites, but to fall on our knees in front of God. And ask him to forgive us our sins in all its shapes and forms sometimes it might be just impatient sometimes it might be something silly a word out of our mouth but we fall at the feet of God 
and ask him to forgive us who are sinners. And may the Lord bless you and keep you. And may the Lord let his face shine on you and be gracious to you. May the Lord uncover his face to you and bring you peace. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go now in peace to love God our Father, to love our neighbour. Amen.